know, the team winning as a team is the biggest thing in football, um, and it should be for every player. You know, if, if you go forty odd games and get a promotion and, and playoffs and all that as a team, that's as good as it gets. But you just had a great group of lads, all of a similar age. You know, all starting young families in a successful time for the football club so you, if you're ever going to bond with people then that's the kind of uh, uh, mixture that's going to make it happen and... Phillips again tees it up Sills first blood to Torquay United and it's the man who got the winner on New Year's Day who pops up with his 22nd of the finds Zabrowski though yeah he's done well he just needs a little bit of help and go look at that from the goalkeeper and he's put it in. Disaster for Paul Jones. Delight for Chris Zabrowski. Centre half, Swansea Jack. Hargreaves got a touch, so too did Benyon, Torquay United lead, Elliot Benyon restored to the starting lineup today, has repaid Paul Buckle with a goal, 60 seconds into the second half. Seals got something of a touch, Sturrett then poked it to Carlisle, and this is Nicky Rowe, it's in! Gwillen got a touch on the way through as well, but it's Nicky that's over, Sturrock. Sills! The Baron run is over. Nine games without a goal, but when it matters most, he's found the back of the net and talking and acting. Two square awards. Save of the season. With the seconds ticking away in the playoff semi-final, Torquay keeper Michael Polk shows brilliant reflexes to turn a thunderbolt from Matt Mitchell King onto the bar, ensuring the goals will be going to Wembley. They don't get much more vital in the tonight. penultimate league game at Barrow. Michael Polk having lost his place through injury earlier in the season. Benyon, here's Hargreaves, chance for Torquay! Chris Hargreaves, the captain! The man who's never got through a playoff campaign in his career has broken the deadlock after 35 minutes. As well, what a wonderful ball to him by Wayne Carlisle. Then by Carlisle, here's Benyon. Carlisle away to this right-hand side again for Torquay. The break is on. Danny Stevens in the penalty area if he stays on side. Carlisle checks instead. He's looking for Benyon. Sills! Torquay United! close to the promised land a two goal advantage with 15 minutes to go they can start dreaming Tim Sills the man in the mask with a Wembley goal well when it matters it's all about delivery and what a wonderful delivery that was from Wayne Carlisle yes it was good intelligent play by Elliot Benyon just holding up the ball slightly waiting for Wayne Carlisle to get wide of him but Wayne Carlisle as he gets it he looks up spots to run and what a run it was from Tim Seals but what a better header as well and we talked about his heading ability absolutely perfect it was from Tim Seals knew exactly where he wanted to put it and not a chance for Adam Bartlett at all in that goal full stretch could not get anywhere near it Look at the way he just guides it into that corner. After two years away, Torquay United are back in the promised land that is the Football League. Now, Torquay United are back in the Football League after two years away. And the celebrations can really begin. Round quickly before finding Danny Stevens. With men over, Stevens picked out Elliot Benyon, and he'd make no mistake, and it's Torquay who go forward into the next round. International Billy Key stepped up to score his first FA Cup goal. 
talking through, also missing out on a third round berth for just the fourth time in the last the 11. team hosted their Cumbrian opponents at play more, and the home side found the net after just six minutes when Unan O'Kane thumped a right-footed drive past Adam Collin. The Northern Ireland under-21 midfield looking sealed victory late on when Kevin Nicholson curled a 25-yard free kick over the wall and into the net for 3-1 and a place in the second round. Kevin Nicholson with a free kick for Torquay. Here's Rene Howe. Oh, he scored! Rene Howe has put Torquay United in front. His ninth goal of the season. And what a turgid first 45 minutes. It was the goals. You know Kane who lit up the fixture. His first, a fine appetizer. And the second was something special, a quality piece of skill and invention that left Argyle goalkeeper Roman Lariu helpless. With the home fans now in full voice, it was down to Danny Stevens to delight. He punished an Argyle error, prompting more celebrations. Decided by a special strike from Kevin Nicholson. Too late for Barnett to fight back. Torquay right up with the playoff pack and building momentum. Nathan Craig back to Howe. They really are dominating now. Billy Bowden. This beautifully. Renny Howe! Oh! He's only gone and won it, surely! To complete the most remarkable of comebacks! Headed forward by Lee Mansell. Might come here to Chapel inside the penalty area! What a start for Torquay United! Just 18 seconds gone, and they've taken the lead. Heinz goes for it! Oh, super save from Polk! Wonderful goalkeeping. Might have seen that a little late. Dagenham and Redbridge. And it comes in! And Torquay have the lead! It could turn out to be. By them again. Might break it though and does for Ashley Yeoman, who has surely won it for Torquay. It's going to be Cameron, it's to perfection. Torquay United back on level terms. Over the top, and the flag stays down. And a chance for Torquay to take the lead. Goodness me, they've turned this game on its head. What a finish from Yeoman, and it's two goals in four minutes. Just, just a final question, beyond the playing career, and I know you feel like you've got a good few years left, but beyond that, when you do stop playing, what is your ambitions to remain in, in the football world? Yeah, yeah, because I know football, I'm, you know, I, I'm confident in my ability as a player and I'm confident that, that when management and coaching comes along that, um, that I know what's required, Which, you know, I'm hoping it's not going to be for another four or five years. Yeah, I, I want to come back. And again, I've already said it, I fully expect to be sat here in the dugout within the next probably 10 years as manager of this football club. Um, and I, and part and inside in Bowman's, was he taken down? Nothing given. 2-0. Well, we got ourselves into a real mess again. Luke Young will claim it. It's a number eight who will... Second period from the league leaders. Here's Briscoe on the turn. 3 1. What a response from Torquay. Louis Briscoe with his second and Torquay's third to immediately restore their two goal cushion with the effort past Graham Stack. <laughs> well, she certainly enjoyed it.
full time. The, the challenge of, of gelling together a team and going, really trying to enhance the kind of times that I had under Paul Buckle and, and Martin Ling. Um, and I look forward to that challenge, but it's a little bit down the line yet. Kevin Nicholson, just unveiled as the next Talking United manager. What did that feel like? Brilliant. Loved it. Um, very, very proud moment um, as a professional. I mean, I love my time here just as a player and I'm hoping to love my time as player manager. <laughs> Well, the support's been unbelievable anyway. I mean, you go back to before the, the run started, uh, well, it was probably the first game that the run did start at Boreham, and we had nearly half the crowd at their place. Now, that's unbelievable for a team that, at the time, was 12 points adrift of safety. Um, they've stuck with us. They've stuck with us through the tough times. Yes, of course, there's been a bit of unrest, and there was doubt, and there was upset, and all that kind of stuff, but that's football. It's, it's what you expect when a team's struggling, but they kept coming, they kept backing us, they kept seeing that we were trying to do something and, and obviously then the results start to come and it becomes a bit easier to, to back us and to be there and, and to have a quarter of the crowd in a 2000 gate away from home is something that you don't very often get um, and I'll always remember that and I'll always remember the support that I've received from the, from the fans pretty much from, from the off. Yeah.